Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. What's up, Lark fans? This is John Bollinger, the general manager of the Bismarck Larks, and your host of Lark Drop-Ins, where we drop news, knowledge, and information about the team in the upcoming season. Uh, to kick things off for today's episode, I wanted to highlight one of our neat community programs. So, uh, with the Larks, we're always trying to use our platform of sport um, to get involved in the community, to give back, and really to recognize some of the amazing things that are happening right here in Bismarck Mandan. Uh, the program we wanted to feature today, it, we partner with Lignite Energy Council, and it's called our Light Up the Classroom uh, Community Program. Basically, what we're asking for members out in the community is if you have a student in school, if you're a student or a parent, we want to hear from you about those teachers in the classroom, lighting up the classroom with ideas, and just you know really giving back um, to uh, to you know our future Lark fans and future uh, All Stars of of tomorrow. So our deadline on that is this Friday, April sixth. And if you just go to LarkSpaceball.com, it's right on the website. There's an easy way to apply. But we'd love for you to put your your favorite teachers in, write a little description about why you think they're uh, they should be eligible for this award, uh, and then uh, later in a couple weeks we'll be announcing who those top two teachers are. We'll have one in Bismarck and one in Mandan, and we're going to do a pretty special thing for them uh, at a at a Bismarck Lark game this season. So again, go to LarkSpaceball.com. And fill that out. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Hey, Lark fans. Uh, we have a special treat in the house today. Head coach Sean Repe dropping in. Uh, he's here for our, our Lark's winter warm up event. Uh, obviously, flew all the way over here from Wisconsin to Bismarck to be here. So, Sean, thanks for dropping in, man. Thank you for having me. I'm, I'm really excited to be back here. Not a problem. And, you know, again, you look a little different as last time in the episode with this with this beard. And we were talking, talking about good luck. You have players tugging on it. We're hoping it's much bigger and, and just looking really gruesome uh, in the summertime if you keep the wind streak up. But I, I, I told fans last week I wanted to give it a, a tug if you don't, don't Go mind. I got to make sure this thing is, okay, that, that thing is real. Um, anyway, uh, so Sean, you know, one thing I know fans uh, always ask me uh, when it kind of comes to the recruitment process, they think as the general manager, I'm involved in that. And I kind of say, look, our head coach, you know, leads that up. Um, you give me something you've learned from year one as a Northwood Seek head coach heading into year two that's really helped you in that recruitment process, really try to get these standout athletes to come to Bismarck. I, I think the just in the recruiting process in general has been the biggest change for myself. Mm -hmm. You know, I've learned so much from speaking with other coaches in this league, and, you know, that's what I love most about it. It's kind of a brotherhood. We all... We all come from the same grain, and uh, you know I, I've learned some things off them of how to communicate with some of these bigger programs. Uh, you know, we had a couple guys from bigger programs last year, but but not quite like the roster that we have this season. And uh, it's really kind of helped me evolve into a, a better recruiter at the Northwoods League level and, and learning how to speak with some of these guys. And uh, it's all about building relationships, and I feel like I'm in a great place with that right now. That's awesome. And how has you know I, I got to imagine. First year team in Bismarck, you're calling some of these bigger programs. They might not know who we are, what we're about. How has the success we had again for attendance and the, the sellouts and just you know being able to, to really build a name for ourselves help when you're talking to some of these bigger programs? Yeah, it, it means everything to, to cool. our recruiting process and, and the foundation that was laid in year one with our front office and with the fans. You know, the, the fan support is is through the roof. Uh, now everybody wants to come play in Bismarck now, and I'm, I'm getting you know tons of phone calls from coaches all around the country from big programs, you know, asking about if their players can become larks, and it's uh, that's that's probably one of the, the best things you can get. So I'm, awesome. I'm very thrilled about that. That's awesome. Well, real quick, uh, while we still got you, tell us about one of the Division One players. You know, I know we talked about West Virginia last week. Tell me about one of the guys you're super pumped about for the team this year. Uh, Tristan Carranza from uh, New Mexico State University. Uh, the kid's mashing the baseball for 20 games so far. Uh, he's got a 350 batting average, eight home runs, and 20-something RBIs. It's through the roof. He's uh, he's a heck of a player, and I'm really excited for him to get here this summer. That's awesome. I know we're all looking forward to seeing him and seeing you guys back. And again, thanks for thanks for being here in Bismarck. Give me a fun event tonight, and appreciate you dropping in. Thank you. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. So for the next portion of our show is the write-in portion, where we have a fan uh, answer a fan's question who wrote in the comments section in last week's episode. We had a few people write us, so we really appreciate that. The one we're going to answer today is actually from Jeff Carlson, who asked, Hey, John, minor league baseball teams are known for their crazy food items. Any new, unusual items to look forward to in the concessionary this summer? Uh, 
Jeff, again, awesome question. And food and beverage is such a big part of our experience for fans. Um, the one thing that we're going to be keeping this year that was actually a big hit last year is our Cloverdale Bacon Station. So if you remember there, uh, it's on the third base side of the ballpark, uh, but we had a few offerings such as our pulled pork parfait, where it was mashed potatoes, gravy, pulled pork, and just layers of that and kind of like a parfait dish. Uh, we also had the brisket bacon boat, uh, which was a little spin off of a, of a, a banana split. Uh, but instead of, you know, your ice cream, you had mashed potatoes, we had sausage for the banana, uh, and again, brisket and bacon, which is pretty cool. Uh, for this year, we really wanted to focus on our dessert options. If you notice at our ballpark, about 80% of our fans have some type of all-inclusive food, but dessert oftentimes isn't a part of that. Um, so what we're most excited about is going to be new this year. We've teamed up with Bear Scat Donuts. We'll be having mini donuts at the ballpark, uh, doing a, a caramel corn in that area, which we're calling the sweet spot. We've also teamed up with Moe's Snow Shack, and we'll be having shaved ice at the ballpark for nine games. There's a couple other exciting things, but for now, those are gonna be the ones I'll, I'll, I'll announce to you, and you can see the rest at the ballpark this summer. Drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. Okay, and for our last segment, we have the video of the week. And we had some, again, some pretty good ones this week. But we have to give it to the man that everyone knows from our team, Clark the Lark. You guys know just from watching this show, you see Clark dancing in between the transitions. We want to show you a video where Clark actually won a dance competition out here in the community. Hit it. Quite the moves, Clark. I know all the folks at the YMCA basketball event were pretty impressed. Hopefully we can repeat that award next year and, uh, and keep that trophy on the shelf. So that wraps up our episode for today. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you have any questions you'd like us to answer for next week, we're getting so close to the season, it's crazy. Uh, please write in the comment section below and we will get to it next week. On that note, I'm John Bollinger and thanks for dropping in. Drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot.